Okay, today we're in the lab and we're going to take an inside look at fire alarm systems and devices. Hi, my name is Kyle. Here at the Intake Lab, we have a fully functional fire alarm system on display. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between multiple detectors, how they work, and what they do. Some of the devices that we have on display are heat detectors, a forewarn detector, and a couple smokes. Some of the most common mistakes we find out in the field is determining the differences between a smoke detector and a heat detector. The difference between the two is a ring on the bottom side of the heat detector. A smoke detector will not have this ring. A heat detector may have a gray ring or a black ring depending on the temperature in which it is rated to. Here in our lab we have a few detectors on display. Today we're going to be talking about how a few of them work and how they operate. The way a smoke detector works is it uses light and reflective smoke particles in order to detect smoke. Most common false alarms are caused by dust, e-cig vapors, or any kind of reflective particle. Most smoke detectors can be located throughout your building in corridors, elevator lobbies, storage rooms, electrical rooms, and mechanical rooms. The most common areas you might find a heat detector are in the kitchens and elevator machine rooms, also in the elevator shafts.